In this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you step by step exactly how to set up a VPN on your laptop or desktop computer. Now there's some very complex do-it-yourself ways to get a VPN set up and there are also some relatively easier ways to do it. What I'm gonna be showing you here, it costs a few dollars, but it is an easier way to set it up and it's something that I would recommend my mother to do. By following this video, you can get a VPN set up on your computer in 15 minutes or less. And I'm not only gonna show you how to install the VPN, I'm also gonna help you understand how to use it and the basic questions and problems that you might come up against. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using my MacBook laptop. But don't worry, the process is exactly the same even if you're using your Microsoft Windows computer. Oh, and one last disclaimer before we get started. There are literally hundreds of VPN services on the market today. I'm gonna to be showing you one of my favorites and one of the more popular ExpressVPN. I've got affiliate links to that in the description below, which is one way that you can support this YouTube channel. But honestly, you can use any VPN that you want. What I'm about to show you, it's gonna be very, very similar with any other VPN service that we use. Okay, here we are on my computer. I'm gonna type into the address bar vpnsetupguide.com. Now, I'm, I'm very transparent about the fact that that is an affiliate link. Right now, it leads to ExpressVPN. Maybe down the road, I'll point it elsewhere. Um, it's really just what's gonna be most advantageous to you, and this homepage may not even look the same. I just want you to understand that as you're going, whatever VPN you decide to use, it's gonna be a very similar process like I've stated before. So I'm gonna go, and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna to show you I'm gonna sign up for a month and I'm going to um, go ahead and, and get this downloaded so that we can see how it works on our computer so I'm gonna run through right now and just go ahead and sign up okay now I've finished paying for ExpressVPN. Um, a lot of VPNs are gonna do it differently. For ExpressVPN, it sends me to a page that auto automatically gives me this activation code, which is great. They're also gonna email it to me. In a lot of cases, the VPN's going to email you either your password or an activation code or something of the sort. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and download this for my Mac, which is what I'm on right now. If you're using Windows, you'll open it in Windows. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up the ExpressVPN software on the computer. Okay, so as you see, it's asking me if I want to continue installing, and I am gonna do that. It's gonna take up some space on my computer. It might require you to put in your password. Uh, I'm gonna go, I already have an account with them, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove the existing account so that we can set up this new one like I'm fresh. Uh, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, start the, uh, the software so you can see how it looks. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and copy this right here, copy this activation code, and then when I sign in, I'm going to paste that activation code in and sign in. Again, every VPN does it slightly differently. Um, the VPN, um, for some others I've had where you have to just create your own login and password, and then that's what you use to sign into the software. Either way you do it, you're gonna notice that it's just gonna require some sort of um, proof that you have an account already. All right, we're gonna look at three different pieces of software quickly. I'm gonna go through ExpressVPN, which I've just downloaded. I'm gonna show you NordVPN as well as Surfshark. And the reason for this is I want you to get kind of a feel for all the similarities that ha that these VPN softwares have. You're usually gonna have just one big connect button or a power button, and then in some way you're going to have a different a look at all the different um, servers that are across the globe. So when you're dealing with a VPN, what you're actually doing is you're connecting, you're having an end-to-end -end encrypted connection with a VPN in another location, uh, excuse me, a VPN server in another location. So that could be in the United States, it could be in Singapore, it could be anywhere you want. So let's say I want to connect somewhere in Germany. So I'm gonna search for Germany, and they're gonna have different cities that I could connect to, or I can just connect to Germany in general, and you're gonna see when I connect to that, it's going to take a moment, it's going to find the right server. It's going to make that end-to-end -end connection. And now, once it's connected, when you're setting up a VPN on your computer or even on your mobile device, once it's connected, you can just close this down and continue working on your computer like nothing else is, is happening. Now, for me personally, I only connect to a VPN when I need it. So when I'm at home, I usually don't connect to a VPN. Um, but it, let's say I want to watch a show on Netflix in another country. Then I'll connect to my VPN. I'll have this running and then I'll open up Netflix and watch whatever I want to. But then when I'm done, I will disconnect. 
So um, I will have this running in the background, either on the top bar of my computer or down on the uh, dock of my computer. Um, but I don't have it running all the time. So that's ExpressVPN. Let's take a look at NordVPN. The NordVPN is slightly different, but again, very similar. The difference that here is you'll see some VPNs actually have a map. So instead of going through a list, which I can do here as well, I can choose a server or a, on a map. Let's say I want to do something or watch the BBC in the United Kingdom. I can just click here on the United Kingdom and then you're going to see that NordVPN is connecting to that server in the United Kingdom and now I'm connected. You have a lot of different preferences that you can do. I didn't show that in um, ExpressVPN, but really there's not much that you need to change even after you've um, set up the software on your computer. But that is NordVPN. Let's look at one more. Okay, Surfshark is the last piece of VPN software that we're going to be looking at. And the primary reason is you're going to see these all look very similar. You've got a list of servers on one side of the software, and then you've got some sort of button that's going to connect you to that server. So in this case, I can actually uh, choose the fastest server, and it will automatically connect to that. You're going to see it changes my IP address. It gives me the option for a kill switch, which if you don't know what a kill switch is, click on up here where you'll see a better um, description, a video description description of what a kill switch is. Uh, and then of course we have our different settings that we can uh, work with, whether that is this kill switch, different types of connections based on what network I'm connected to, different features. Um, and then of course advanced connections, which most of us will not have to worry about. Again, you connect, you do what you need to do, whether you're out on a public network or whether you're trying to uh, bypass geolocation to watch a Netflix show or BBC in another country. And then personally, once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to disconnect and close the software. That's exactly what a VPN is used for and that's exactly how you set it up on a computer. All right. You're now set up with a VPN. You're already doing better than 75% of internet users. That's awesome. You've completed a very important step in securing yourself online, but wait, don't stop there. There are so many other things that you can be doing to secure yourself with your passwords, with your email, with your banking, and more. You can check out more of my videos, but don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want more great, easy to understand tech videos that won't go over your head. And remember, don't wait until it's too late. Take some time to secure yourself online.